Hello and welcome to another obscure Fury calculation video. In this video I will calculate the height of Fury and then compare her to her PC because why not? The episode I will be using on this calculation will be the baboons episode. The reason is clear when seeing these two scenes. The first thing I needed to do was find the size of a consistent element between the two scenes. This being that baby baboon head. The length of a baboon body without a tail is 60 to 120 centimeters long. I took the rounded midpoint of 80 centimeters for the height of mother baboon. The height of the box surrounding the baboon is 708 pixels. This gives a value for 1 centimeter of 8.85 pixels. The baboon head is 164 pixels tall meaning that it is 18.5 centimeters tall. Moving on to the next scene, which I chose for the factful is standing at her tallest. I discovered that the animators love me and the baboon head was in fact the exact same size as in the other scene. This makes things a lot easier as I can use the same scaling of 8.85 pixels to 1 cm to calculate the final height of Fuli. The box surrounding Fuli is 844 pixels tall meaning that Fuli is about 95.4 cm tall. The next thing I had to do was compare it to the height of a PC. As PCs are very different it is very difficult to calculate the height of one. Unless your name is Austin, the height of your PC is usually determined by the height of the case which it is in. To find a good figure for the height of a case, I decided to take the top 5 cases on an unfiltered PC part picker list. This will show me the most popular 5 cases which I can take an average from. Unfortunately 3 of the top 5 cases were in fact the same case which is very foolish. This meant I had to take the top 5 individual cases. Now I'm not going to bore you here but here is the table of heights and the final height I will use for a PC 48.82 cm tall. By multiplying the PC height with the previously determined scale the height of a PC on this image is 432 pixels. This is what a PC looks like in front of Fuli. A bonus element of this video will be how fast Fuli can accelerate. The maximum speed I decided for this was 50 meters per second which is slightly more than my initial calculation but still safely below the second average speed calculation I used this very scene for. Now I already determined that it took Fuli 3 frames to complete this movement. In this movement Fuli accelerates and decelerates to a stop. If we assume she takes half the time to complete each part we can calculate Fuli accelerates to maximum speed in 0.0625 seconds. Now we can use the equation V equals U plus a T to work out our acceleration. Working this out comes to 800 meters per second squared, which is 81.5 grams that is enough to tear a normal cheetah apart. So Fuli is definitely a super cheetah.